Book Interrupted Chronicles capture some of our favorite and funniest moments together from before we were all in the club. If you would like to know who felt clothing was optional at the theme park, or which member flipped the script on her birthday surprise, go to www.bookinterrupted.com slash unpublished to start your free trial to Unpublished, where our chronicles and inklings live. Trust us, you won't regret it. Parental guidance is recommended because this episode has mature topics and strong language. Here are some moments you can look forward to during this episode of Book Interrupted. I'm kind of nervous. You're nervous? It's kind of different because there's air to fill. Well, we never met her yet. Same thing with yeah. Kirsten, right? Like it's a like I should be fine. It's just it's worthy of nerves. So I was so excited, and they were all like, "We're having the best time." It was like this is so classically high school. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the corner that's clean. If I turned this around, <laughs> everything else would be messy. <laughs> Your poor you eyebrows. Are You're like, what did we do to you? <laughs> <laughs> I remember being like, "There's no chance in hell I'm getting up at five in the morning." Bird, she was like, "Mabel, oh my sir, God, you're eating right now. You're like a skeleton." So you look like oh. you're ill. And the kids love it. They're like, what's this doing in here? Oh, dad. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, guys? Let's do this. Express yourself. Share the wealth. Hold on to your bookmarks. We're off the shelf. Express yourself. It's good for your health. Book Interrupted is off the shelf. <laughs> The following episode is Off the Shelf, brought to you by Book Interrupted. Thing. Ever wonder what we talk about before or after the show? Did you want updates on some of our challenges? Maybe insight into some deleted scenes? Here's your chance. Let's look behind the scenes. Kara's not coming, by the way. We heard. Uh, Leah said she probably won't come, so. No, I talked to her yesterday. She, like, sent me this crazy text. The text was a panic text about the Marco Polo she sent me. And it was like super long. And I was like, uh oh, whoever like Kara Sally is, is, is way right out. out. Blanche. Whoever Kara so Sally Blanche. is. Blanche just like, sent, sent me a text. <laughs> 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 so then I listened to the Marco Polo and it was clearly Blanche. And I was like, oh no. She's like, oh, I'm the worst at scheduling and it's even worse now. And She's just beating herself Which is up. hilarious because she just took on a job as an administrative assistant. And it was like, I hope you're better at it for other people. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that to her. She probably will. Well, I, oh, I did. <laughs> just like, she's so hard on herself. It's like, here, everyone has made this mistake. And like, what? What is the day today? And what is the deadline? Yeah. I literally showed up at my girlfriend's house for this three-month plan of a girl's night with a bunch of my high school friends that's been in the works for months to get it so everyone can come. And I showed up on the wrong day. <laughs> and I almost <laughs> cried because I was so excited. And I was like, no one's answering the door. <laughs> Where am I? I was so sad. I'm just inside. It's Leah, don't answer. I know. It honestly ran through my head. Like, yeah, I was like, I? this is so high school. Is this like an unfriending intervention? <laughs> like we planned it for months. Show up on this bitches. Day. Make sure You're everyone's all there. Be there the following day. <laughs> and we're not going to say anything. We're just going to ghost her. And then I had I'm plans sure. for Chinese New Year, so I couldn't. Like New Year's doesn't change its date, so I couldn't go. And they called, and I had the worst FOMO because normally I hate socializing, but. I haven't socialized oh. with anyone in so long. I've been, I was so excited. There. And they were all like, we're having the best time. It was like, this is so classically high school. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is like, these people are lovely and we love each other. But I still wanted to look so good because I haven't seen them in like two years. I've been like really eating smart this week. So I'm not bloated. I had this great outfit that makes me look so cute. Dyed my eyebrows. <laughs> and I was like, Wow. You went all no, 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 how cute I still am. <laughs> I'm so fucking vain. It's terrible. I love what it. What color did you dye your eyebrows? Oh, my eyebrows are like clear in real life. Oh, so you just made them Yeah, so I just appear. like use that beard and mustache dye like just for men. Mm-hmm. And I just make them a color. Cool. And then does I'll it color. grow out? Yeah. Maybe a month oh. out of it. Yeah. Hmm. Be quiet. One time I bleached them. Sarah knows this. <laughs> Remember when I bleached them and it was like it was because yeah, I was like orange. maybe cool. No, it was like so strange. It looks so bad. I bleached my eyebrows once for a Halloween costume. It's yeah, I bleached it, it so and strange. then shaved them off. 
Yeah. Poor, your poor you eyebrows. Eyebrows. You're like, what did we do to you? <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to grow them back. Yeah. Oh man. Lucky for you. My mom said that she yeah. shaved her eyebrows off and then they just never grew back. That's she just has like rough. four hairs that she has to use as like That's connect rough. the dots. I just say, oh. I've heard a lot of people that when they shave them off, they don't come back. Really? It's interesting. Yeah. Lucky. Yeah. Well, I was young. I was in my twenties. Mm. Like it was like, recently. My mom did it because the style was like to draw your eyebrow on super surprised, yeah, like back yeah, in yeah. the sixties. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So I think she was younger then. Maybe she did it more than once though. You'd think maybe she was, it like, was her routine. Yeah. yeah. Maybe there's like a scar tissue yeah. stopping them. But this is just for uh, my Lilu costume. I totally remember. I knew. Yeah. I couldn't remember her name, so I didn't shout yeah, yeah. it out, but I, I wanted to. I still have that costume, <laughs> but I'm like, when am I ever going to wear this again? Maybe some other Halloween after you're no, super sick. No, I dieted for that. I never diet, but I like kind of dieted for that costume. I know. That's why I'm like, after you're super sick. Like if you don't eat for the three weeks leading <laughs> oh, up yeah, to Halloween. Oh yeah, photo shoot time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's like, fuck, I'm so dehydrated. You so COVID? fucking hot right now. <laughs> I'd have to be sick for a long time. <laughs> I'm right now like 135 is like a normal way for me. And I was like 118. It's like, that'd be like a really Whoa, big flu. That's really skinny. That's do, a lot yeah. of weight. I was just like, do the, one of those master cleanses. I remember I did that. So I didn't even finish. You're supposed to do it for, I think, 10 days. I think it was seven. Yeah. And when our <clears throat> Susie, our cousin, I went to Susie and Mark's for dinner, but I was like, I can't eat, but I'll come because a whole bunch of cousins were getting together. And I showed up and Susie was like, what's wrong? Are you sick? And I was like, oh, oh no, no, I'm I'm doing this fast. Someone said I, they didn't think I could do it. It's like a challenge. I'm like, I just have, you know, maple I, syrup and whatever. And she was like, maple oh syrup. My God, you're eating right now. You're like a skeleton. You look like <laughs> oh, you're ill. It's like you're dying. And I was like, oh. no, because especially when you were like, you lose weight really fast. You're and just... I was super fit then because <laughs> I was working for Vega. I was already like super. You probably didn't need class, a class. Dan yeah, was all stressed about company. getting uh, getting the kids out on time today. And I was like, oh. don't worry. We just chit chat for the first like 10 or two hours. Minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sarah, I feel like need honest, to probably... explain my look today. Mm. I went to my brother's wedding yesterday. Was it a surprise <gasps> wedding? Did? Yes, it was a surprise wedding. So we, I didn't go to bed till like one in the morning. And then I got up at like, I don't know, 7.15. So my eyes are not looking like I'm awake. I had this plan from last night. I'm like, I'm just going to wear my sunglasses on the podcast. I don't fucking care. So yeah, cool. uh, yeah, I just wanted you to know that yeah. I'm not as cool as I look. I you are <laughs> as cool as you look. <laughs> <laughs> and it was good? It was know- bizarre. So he oh. called me on Thursday and was like, hey, um, I have a weird question. We're going to get married on Saturday. So mm-hmm. would you guys come? And I was like, of course. Like, what's going on? So apparently... Okay, there's this bar in Penticton, which is a total dive called the Barking Parrot for Valentine's Day. They're like, what should we do for Valentine's Day? So they landed on let's marry 20 couples. This is for love. So what's for love? Marriage. Like, I don't I don't know. I, I don't work there. I wasn't I didn't attend the meetings, <laughs> but they decided that they would marry people. And then they made it like a Vegas themed night, which it really Fine. wasn't Vegas themed at all. But they did it in two sets of 10 and it was. They didn't have enough people working. Like it was crazy. But anyways, so I think their officiator was drunk by the time it was their turn or having a stroke. Like she literally was like, do you Donna take Donna to be your, oh. Donna forever? Yeah. <laughs> totally. To be Donna forever? Yeah. So like my wedding <laughs> for our officiant couldn't say Dan's name. <laughs> I didn't illegally marry us. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, it was awesome. That's great. It was fun. It was super fun. We That's never cool, yeah. go out ever past dark, ever. It was very hard for us to go to this. But then we finally went and enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, and now you have yeah. to wear sunglasses. And podcast. now you're paying the price. Worth it. Well, cool. So how was that to do with your sunglasses? Because you're oh, hungover? Hi. No, I'm not even hungover. I'm just super tired. So like my under eyes are super puffy. Like even on a good day when I try to go to bed early for this podcast, I don't really. Her eyes are still sleeping. Yeah. Her body's mm-hmm. awake. Mine are always like that every podcast we ever do. <laughs> like, I feel like I always too. close or I work really late the night before. So yeah. Sunday mornings are hard for me in general. <laughs> Just eight yeah, in the morning is hard for me. It. Where's Kara? So Kara's not coming because she's applying to the, a master's program, a specific Specialty. thing in the master's program. Something she has to apply for. And mm-hmm. she, there's all these things she has to do for it. And the only thing left was to write this paper. And she thought she had an extra week or something. Thought, oh, the 14th is like 
whatever. I have lots of time. And right. then realized yesterday that the 14th is Monday and she hasn't written the fucking paper and she's a 20 page, out. like a 20 page paper or something. Oh. Yeah. She said me like a Marco Polo, but I was busy because I guess this weekend, that's funny too. Cause I, everyone seems to have a crazy weekend because this weekend I said to mama do okay, our friends, they can visit mm-hmm. us anytime except for this weekend. Cause I have a show. They called on Thursday and like, we're coming this weekend. And he was like, I think there might be something. I don't think we can do it this weekend. And like, oh, come on, we'll come. It's fine. Mm-hmm. And he's like, okay. It's fine. And he's like, fine. I'm serious coming. And I was like, what? what? Like we've been like, waiting for him since you. December yeah. hmm. before Christmas. And this is the weekend. Anyway, so whatever, it's fine. <clears throat> I'm also like exhausted because I don't stay up last. Like I go to bed at 9.30 and read my book. Right. That's what I do. And, uh, and then the kids are up do, early. Anyway, so, all day. so <laughs> Kara said me a whatever I didn't hear the Marco Polo and then I got a text being like I sent you a Marco Polo it was like I'm the worst ever and I'm the worst at planning and I can't do it like it was just non-stop oh kill- yeah. killing her so I was like so eventually I called her and I was like hey I just got your messages so yeah okay no big deal keep your head and down like, and get her done yeah just but that's like done. I do this too when you're like in that state you procrastinate uh, anyway it's like yes okay that's what I so said get started let Stop the world know this. she like called everybody to tell them what she'd done <laughs> it's like just sit the fuck down <laughs> i have I know, to I read your babysitter or just start and tell the kids to leave you alone like it's gonna not be smooth but it's like you can't create yeah. a dome of silence waiting for some babysitter to show up put it in the house she's procrastinating she's spinning and procrastinating yeah you gotta do your paper and let it go she'll get it done yeah. she always does this happens all the time you get on it it's like a deadline <laughs> motivating for her i bet I yeah, like it's like, almost yeah. I was like wow this is so classic you're like self-sabotage procrastinating she's like but I genuinely didn't remember it's like I know you we all believe you remember hmm. yeah it's like I don't know if somebody's sure. like write a 20 page essay I'd be like ugh yeah I don't want to do that I think you have more <laughs> totally. time or something yeah, yeah I never want to do it like even when it's like that was a word essay you're like ugh any essay it's like just any. let me tell you yeah. like once I start going it's fine <laughs> you know what I mean it's like just let me talk the answers let me talk the mm. essay let me just talk it I don't want to write and edit and revise and cite oh yeah that's the problem with so, the essay is fucking tell- citing bullshit yeah hmm before I do this does anyone mind if I do an insta story while we're casting Yes, totally mine so much. I knew no. it. I knew it. <laughs> Just because you'll be kind of on it. I'm, I'm now before. on Insta all the time because I'm famous yeah, in the sake world, if anyone's seen my video. Yeah, that yeah. was great. I am. Um, no. Well, not in the sake world, but in the key sake world. I've gotten so many, like my uncle called and like guests come up to me. They're like, oh, I recognize you from Instagram. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank Ooh, you. No way. That's- <laughs> Was it a commercial? I mean, like how would no, you? I'm doing sake kind of, sake and wine. So uh, I saw like, the thing, in- but what would you yeah. call it? Kind of a promo. It's mostly, we're just doing them. We're going to do them every week. There's three of us sommeliers. So we'll all do one every week that we talk about one of the wines and sakis. It's trying to get people to come in, but also to buy from our online bottle shop. So, right which I've created. So, which is cool. Good and I'm like you. developing and putting up photos and tasting notes and all of this stuff. So it's kind of cool. That's awesome. Right. That's awesome. Good for you. That's awesome. Can you there offer discounts or anything? Like, a, could you make a wine club? <laughs> um, I don't. <laughs> There's weird liquor rule laws in Ontario, so yeah, I don't I, think that that's a thing, No, not maybe. an option. That's too bad. Yeah. Because that's a but great hook. Anyways, sorry, I'm blabbing on. You probably want to no. talk about, what are, what are we even talking about? I don't even I don't remember. Wait, my brain talking to so... strangers today? Talk Our first yes. strangers. The first final? Strangers final. Mm. Oh, final. final. I have so many things to say. I folded pages. Oh, I have gosh. Like, I folded I'm, I'm as organized I, as oh, Meredith. Wait, yeah. And I never fold pages, it's but I folded this one. I uh, good because I read it ages ago, and then I've already read part of the what the Robin knows. So my brain is like in different books. Should we right. get started? Yeah. Everybody ready for Audacity? <clears throat> oh right, yeah. Um, Are you ready, Trace? Okay. Yeah. One, sorry, two, yes. three, go. Audacity. Audacity. All right. Hello, Audacity. And the meeting is on. So I told Dad, I'm like, don't worry, you'll be gone before we start. <laughs> This interruption is brought to you by Unpublished. Do you want to know more about the members and Book Interrupted? Go behind the scenes? Visit our website at www.bookinterrupted.com. Book Interrupted. I found a nice interruption in the mailbox the other day. A letter, a handwritten letter from an old friend. 
and it truly did interrupt my day in the best possible way. I came in, I didn't do anything that I had to do, and I sat down and I read the letter. It brought a smile to my face. It makes me want to write more letters to more people. Book interrupted. Yeah. Hi, Lindsay. So nice Hi. to see you. You too. Hi, so nice to see you. <laughs> it's good to be back. <laughs> Where are you? I am in the basement still, in the dungeon. Were you in there before? Yes. It looks very clean. Yes, this is the corner that's clean. If I turned this around, <laughs> everything else would be messy. <laughs> you should see my room right now. I was like, okay, I'm ready. And then I was like, oh, wait, everything back here was full of like laundry <laughs> baskets and garbage and everything. I was like, oh, it's all on my bed right beside me right now. <laughs> yeah, Dan grabbed the laundry basket and like went like this to this pack and put everything in the laundry basket and moved it over there. Yeah, totally. There you go. Baskets are great Please. for that. Yes. <laughs> How um, exciting so, is it that we get to talk to Karma Brown? Yeah, it's so cool. I know, right? find it hard to ask, think of questions. I was like, what would I ask? Her? I looked I through I all the old show, like quickly uh, through the show notes to be like, what was the stuff that we talked about? So I put a couple of notes for everybody. The focus score, that was something we talked oh, about. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. The baking, the, the sleep yeah. archetypes. Oh, I'm surprised that was from that one. Yeah, there's a few things. If anybody else. Let's hear the remember. list. I like the list. Those are three. Is that it? Oh, there's way more, but I let me see if I can find where. What did I, you like? What did I like? I don't yeah. remember. I remember being like, "There's no chance in hell I'm getting up at five in the morning." That's all. I, <laughs> I know. I was um, thinking that. I'm like, I wonder if Karma listened to the podcast. I think this is the first or second episode, but it might have been the first. You're like, there is no way in hell I'm doing yeah. that. <laughs> I know. And I liked how Kim, you went from no I way this book and was like, mm -hmm. no. I'm going to hate this book. And then it's okay. The babiest step ever. And you're like, well, maybe I could do a baby And you did step. it, right? Wake like, up and have minutes. a coffee. And I then you did it by the end. The most important thing for me was that she did the very thing I thought she was going to do, but did it in a joke. So then I was like, okay, oh, yeah, right. this isn't that. <laughs> okay. Right? I like you. On you're the joking about it. Like on the first oh, yeah, yeah. opportunity that she had, she was like, okay, now set your alarm clock. And then the next page, she was like, just kidding. Like, okay, good. Like she's not going <laughs> to handle this. shame me into trying to do this, right? Like it's yeah. going to be like purely voluntary is not the right word but you know what i mean like you decide for yourself complete autonomy on yeah, this yeah <laughs> totally. i'll give you the guidelines yeah because like if you're reading a book where somebody you're like well obviously you're super intense type a of course you're gonna do it but what about me and she's just like it's fine you yeah. can do it or not do it wake yeah. up and have a coffee yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah i like that and then there was the also i just looked it up the b hag or the p hag the big hairy oh, yeah. audacious <laughs> goal and the petite hairless agreeable goal <laughs> That was one of the things. Yeah, that's what Leah liked the most was that because mm. Leah does the the big insane. Yeah, yeah, goal she goes too far. And she burns yeah. out, and she's like, "I'm already doing it. I can't add another thing." And then after, she's like, "No, just a tiny thing." And she's like, "Oh, okay, coffee. I can do just a coffee by myself." Okay. Same with Kara. Kara was like, "I don't want to get up at four. Yeah. She's like already <laughs> getting up at five. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Talk about getting up at four. It's the longest day of the year. This week was the longest day of the year. So mm -hmm. like I've been waking up at 10 to four because the sun has been peeking around my blackout blinds. Just a little bit. I'd be like, no, it's up at four, the sun. And then it's like midnight. I was like, it's not late. I don't have to sleep. And you're like, it is very, very late. The sun mm -hmm. is not sleeping, but you need to sleep because I need to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's strangely <laughs> energizing though, but you know, eventually you can't do the How many hours every day. of darkness do you get right now? Four. I'm sleeping for part of it. So it's not much. Sunset is before midnight, but then you still have like dusk, right? So maybe like four nighttime no. or four less. actual dark or hours. less. Like that's the thing. I've been waking up at 10 to four from the light. Yeah. Like mm. peeking it around here. my blackout blinds. It's light <laughs> here. Like definitely at 430. I think that you're much more north, it's more, but yeah. here the sun is not, I'm thinking about doing a firework day, but then I'm also conflicted because literally it's not dark enough until 10 PM. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been watching, right? And I'm like, okay, it's 930. Well, I still probably wouldn't be happening yet. So I'm trying to like, as Fred would want to go, but at the same time, I'm like, do I want to stay up until after 10 PM with Fred? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Like we, we have a drive-in here in this time of year. If you go to the drive-in, the movie starts up, I think 1130 or 12. <laughs> Yeah. So, so that would work for right. Lindsay. Yeah. Like for me. Right? Because like, you know. right? you're a wolf. You'll just there was... be up a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's fine. It's 
great. Sarah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're a wolf. I should yeah. um, I'm yes. a bear. There was a lion and a dolphin. Definitely think- a dolphin, yeah. I usually have my book here. I'm like totally. I couldn't find it. I have it somewhere in the house, but what are we talking about? The four percent fix? I have mine in my stack. Maybe I read Sarah's. Did I read yours? You could have. You were here. No, I don't know. I might I thought I maybe you libraried it. I might have libraried. Oh, you did library library it. Tried to get the midnight library from the library, but there was a super long lineup. Yeah. And I couldn't do the audiobook. I didn't think she interpreted the character properly and i was just like no oh that's kara not the kara said the same we'll thing is that true no she loves it oh she liked no, the audio you'll book. hear it oh. in the book report that's coming out on monday uh kara's like i love the actress that did it she was amazing i wish uh. i knew her name uh. <laughs> i didn't think yeah, that she, she got nora <laughs> maybe nora's voice in my head is just different mm-hmm. <laughs> oh Lindsay, hold on a second. do you have an idea of here. what you're gonna ask karma brown Hi. If she still does the 4% fix herself and what she still uses it for or something like that. Mm. I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I read Come Away With Me and I have on hold. Um, Is that a fiction? Yes. Something about Good Wife or something. Mm, mm. The Good Wife? The title no, it's not The Good Wife because that's a different book. No, but I know it's what you're not. talking about. What are we talking about? It's Karma Brown's, Brown's other books. Actual book oh. books. Her fiction books. Come Away With Me. It's really good because when you're least expecting it, she does the crazy twist. It makes the whole book. And it's like the end of the book. And you're like, okay. oh my God, amazing. The way I used one. to be. Is that one of them? No, come away with me. Recipe what, for come the- Come away with me about. Yeah, recipe for a perfect wife. That's when I'm on hold. That one's like, it was, it's been on hold at the library forever. Should so. we do the audacity stuff now? I'm just yes, thinking. Yes, now, yeah. Testing, Recording. Testing. Oh, Mayor, yeah. you say- it's Sarah Diop and Lindsay, you say your full name. Fan Lindsay says. Oh, yes. Right. You might want to take that off. Yes, I do. I like your name, Lindsay, now. Fan Lindsay, just in case. I figured that'd be appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I should change mine to original Lindsay. No. Yeah, OG. <laughs> OG Lindsay. <laughs> or you should put not fan Lindsay, and then we can explain it to Karma. <laughs> Not that might be weird. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll leave it out. That might be weird. Might? <laughs> Fairly certain it would be weird. Not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm kind of nervous. You're nervous? It's kind of different because there's air to fill. Well, we never met her yet. Same thing with yeah. Kirsten, right? Like, it's a. Like, I should be fine. It's just. It's worthy of nerves. Sarah, you're going to do like an introduction to her and then an introduction to all of us on the podcast, right? Sure. Okay. Does someone else want to do it because I feel so nervous? Do what? Introduce oh, okay. Karma Brown when she comes on. Fan Lindsay, it's your book pick. I don't want to do the intro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. I like your honesty. I don't really like being on video or at all. So. No, that's okay. <laughs> Why? You look really good. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I also get stage fright. I don't like a lot yeah, of people looking yeah. at me. Okay, I can do it. No yeah. one else wants to do it? I can do it. I don't mind. You need me to. I just am worried I'm going to start coughing or something. It'll be awkwardly weird. But I guess we could just edit it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I can just edit it. Yeah. You do it. Yeah, yeah. And it would sound funny like you're just like, <laughs> Carmen. And then well, she cuts it. out the cough and then you're like, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. <gasps> Oh man, I like checked my like waveform before to make sure it wasn't like too big or too small. But now that I'm talking and laughing for real, it seems really big. Mm-hmm. What do you prefer? Okay, big's better than small. Okay. Big is better than big small. Big is better than small. So many jokes. Did anybody to be made. Said, does anybody have <laughs> yeah. one to say? That's what she's. <laughs> I know exactly what she's yeah. saying. There's so oh, many. I couldn't God. pick one. <laughs> I tell you, my taught that to my mom, and then now she's just obsessed with it. Every single thing. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's You're the like, beauty oh, of that's what's, not a new of, thing. That's what she You're said. Like mom, it's really old. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. She's so retro. <laughs> yeah. Would it be considered retro now? Maybe. Probably. Um. I think I it was a know. few years ago. Before something's retro, it has to be passe. Yeah, like I don't know the definition, the true definition of retro. So I don't either. Is there an actual time limit attached to it? Some hipster decided some official definition somewhere, but I'm sure most people just think it means old. Can you guys hear my chair squeak? No, no. Okay. Well, it's not you, but Kara has a very squeaky chair. She likes to pick up her microphone to move it around. 
you do but we can't even I was like you can't touch it. the microphone because it makes a noise when you touch it mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just there's so many things with Kara our last uh, midnight library episode that had three episodes she was folding laundry and she'll stop and have a chat so when I was editing the video portion I was trying to make it so when she had stopped doing laundry then we'd show her <laughs> But it was very difficult. I think it's okay to show her folding laundry. It's book interrupted after all. You're like, I don't have time for this podcast. I'm well, we laundry. did. No, it was fine. I didn't even tell her anything about it. I was like, clearly she doesn't have time and she needs this laundry folded. But it's because she was folding laundry, she was constantly moving her mouth <laughs> from the microphone. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. So she'd be like super loud and then super quiet. <laughs> super loud and super quiet. Dan usually does a lot of the kids' laundry because they go through so much laundry. But Elsa decided that she wanted to reorganize her drawers differently. She was like, I want to do it differently. I was like, yeah, they're your drawers, man. Fill your boots. I'll help you do it. And so now hers are different. Like the top drawer is pants and underwear, which I understand because she's going to put the underwear on and then the pants. And the second drawer is pajamas and socks. I can get on board with that. Right. And then the bottom one is shirts. But Dan's like, I don't know where anything goes. And the kids share socks all the time. Which socks go in whatever. I'm like, these ones go here. And these ones go here. And these ones can go in either. One. <laughs> so he's just like a loss. He's like, where does her underwear go? I'm like, you have to put it with the pants. But then violets are all what I did. Like, I think that Elsa's system is really ingenious, actually. Literally top down. That's how she'll mm-hmm. get dressed. It makes sense, right? Like you want to put your underwear and your pants on first because you're putting a dress on. It's hard to put pants on after the dress. Mm-hmm. I usually get dressed like that too, like bottom up but then your drawers should be top down. (laughs) So good job, Elsa. I may rearrange my drawers. But it makes laundry difficult for dad. I was like, I'll put it away. I think laundry is difficult for any male, (laughs) period. (laughs) It's genetically. He's done something to his brain. You know, when you do like something a lot of times, like a mistake a lot of times, and you always do that mistake because that's your, your neural pathway has become strong. He has this thing where he knows which clothes belong to which kid, but he'll accidentally put them in the wrong drawers. <laughs> and the kids love it. They're like, what's this doing in here? Oh, dad. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> they love it. And he's like, oh, brother. I was like, no, they love it. So don't worry. You, you put it at any drawer and they'll be happy. You get it right. They're happy. You get it wrong. They love seeing you make a mistake. I wouldn't even deal with that. If I had two kids, I would be like, the clothes are in the drawers. Good luck. <laughs> oh, dad. <laughs> We give them a a laundry bin with all their clean laundry unfolded in it and put that in their room and say it has to be empty by Friday. Yes. Because Freddie like will wear something for seven seconds and then he doesn't want to put it away. So it goes into the laundry. I'm like, you do laundry with me now. So I sit with him and he folds all his stuff and I fold all the other stuff. But yeah, good for you. Yeah. That's because then like, maybe you'll think twice. Right. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello, everyone. It's bright and early there, isn't it? Thank you for joining us on this episode of Book Interrupted. If you'd like to see the video highlights from this episode, please go to our YouTube channel, Book Interrupted. You can also find our videos on www.bookinterrupted.com. Are you interested in joining the conversation and having your comment played on the podcast? Simply find a quiet place and record a voice memo. Then send it to connect at bookinterrupted.com. Or you could do it the old-fashioned way and leave us a voicemail at 416-900-8603. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Book interrupted. Never forget, every child matters.